I think we could have done better by making more investments in uh, what probably has remained to be uh, a sector not very well attended to. And that is specifically health, that is specifically education, that is specifically development of the country, not necessarily investments uh, which were made and on a very good grounds probably to address the security matters, to address the military matters and so forth. But the investments in basic uh, things which determine development of the country, which determine the attitudes of the people, which form the, the, the understanding of uh, the young generation about what is best for their future are based on investments in health, are based on investments in education, are based on investment in development. We haven't invested enough in those sectors. My argument is that investments should, have, should be made and at best place, then they're targeted at women, then they're targeted at children and on a longer term development. And if you're not investing in that, you will have the results you have now. We as humanitarians will stay in Kabul and we will deliver. We are very determined to be here for the people of Afghanistan. Our role here was all this for the people of Afghanistan. We will work with the, our de facto authorities, the, those who control provinces, with people in power in order to provide impartial humanitarian assistance to those who needs that humanitarian assistance. Our concern is for the people, specifically for those who are displaced and for those who are uh, had to move. There was about 600,000 people which had to move as a result of those hostilities. My second concern is the ability to have uh, a good access uh, for various teams. Uh, not every place is fully accessible at the moment. Not every team can reach every place so that we can understand what their needs are. And um, obviously with the current fluid situation on the ground, uh, we're experiencing some difficulties.